Hello my friends and welcome back to Brotato Danger 5. We are playing some more genetically modified overkill. If you're not familiar with this mod, it mashes up the effects of two characters into one, so we get both character stats at the same time, which is really cool. And we've just been randoming characters and kind of seeing what we get, so let's jump right into it and try to beat Danger 5 with whatever unholy abomination the mod gives us. Hit random and hit random, and we've got arms dealer ranger uh well this could be a problem so we have random weapons but actually i'm i'm curious how this will work arms dealer and ranger because ranger can't get melee weapons in the shop um but arms dealer deletes all the weapons so this might be just a better arms dealer because the ranger removes useless weapons from the pool it means we won't have to spend any on building um spend anything on building non-range damage, like we won't have to spend anything on melee damage. I guess we also start with a pistol, but we also get to pick a weapon because we're a ranger as well. Um, for the first wave, I think the weapon, since we're losing this weapon anyways, it doesn't matter what we have. I think the weapon that gives us the best chance is, uh, uh, the fastest clear, is revolver in terms of just like clearing wave one. Basically just trying to maximize our income for the first wave here. We're also gonna have the reduced HP of the Ranger. So a good income from wave one, um, how much harvesting did we have? We had 30 harvesting. So a good income from wave one is 56. So we got 58 there. So that's not bad. Uh, range damage is something that we need to roll for or harvesting. So I am going to roll and see if we can get either of those. Um, percent damage will also be good. But remember that we've got the... I'll, I'll take attack speed here because we didn't roll into anything that we actually want. But remember we have the ranger's buff to ranged damage. So any of that that we find is good. Do I want two armor over one ranged damage? I actually think I don't. We, we need to boost ranged damage early. So I'm very curious to see if the ranger just improves the arms dealer by preventing us from rolling uh, non-ranged weapons. I will, yeah, I'll just buy both of these guns. And in fact, I'm just going to buy both of these. One advantage with the arms dealer is you have to buy your weapons every time. So you can just focus on buying good items early on. We'll buy this fertilizer. We'll buy this laser gun. Um, and I also got a, okay, so I, I can roll a, a ranged weapon in the shuriken. But shuriken is a ranged weapon. So I don't know if it's, if it would be prevented by the the ranger thing. Let's reroll. Definitely take sharp bullet and bag here. Do I want to buy a revolver, lock a revolver? Revolver is going to be one of the better weapons. I don't know if we need to buy it or lock it, though. Um, but I guess I will lock it. I don't know if the price will go up from 2 to 3, because uh, Arms Dealer reduces weapon price by 95%. Let me actually also just go over these characters really quick, just so we remind ourselves what they do. So Arms Dealer reduces weapons prices, gets extra harvesting, but at, in every shop and some other stuff, but in every shop, you lose all of your weapons and have to rebuy them. Um, Ranger gives you extra range and better ranged damage, and then, but you can't have melee weapons and max HP is harder to buy. I think I'm going to lock this revolver because I don't know if it would cost three next round. And it's going to be basically the best weapon we can get anyways. Um, I'm not actually losing a, a roll at a real item here because we're guaranteed to see two weapons next wave. And uh, thanks to it being shop, wave t uh, shop number two. And so the revolver being just the best weapon that we can find pretty much means that we're not actually giving up anything by locking it. And I only, I think I only need three weapons to get maximum clear times on wave two. Although actually maybe I should have, because we have two laser guns, maybe that was a mistake. Laser guns slow attack speed is definitely a problem here. I will be trying to conserve my voice a little, so I may talk just a little bit less in during the, the rounds than normal. Um, bear with me if that's the case. 
I do want life steal, but I'm going to take this luck, because getting luck going early is good. I will take bag and sharp bullet, and we will buy the revolver. I'm going to buy the shredder here as well. This isn't like the best weapon we could get, but it, it gives us an extra free reroll, which is nice. Coupon, sure, and then we can buy both of these, and that gets us up to four guns, which is great. And then I'm not going to worry about the piggy bank. I will do a reroll here. The trick with Arms Dealer is you want to lock weapons that you want the type of, but because we are guaranteed never to see melee weapons, thanks to being a ranger, we don't actually have to lock specific weapons. So I'm not going to lock some like low-tier guns, like Medical Gun or Laser Gun. I will lock the Weird Food, though, just because it's good. For more on that, I'd go into a very detailed explanation in my class guide to the Arms Dealer. of how to bias the shop in your favor. Definitely need some attack speed. Any additional damage we get would be really nice, of course, because it's boosted. Flat range damage should be boosted both by the arms dealer and by the ranger, so flat range damage should be incredible for us. Um, so if I buy this, I think we should, we should hit three. Yes, we did, great. And then here I'm gonna take attack speed because attack speed is gonna be really important for this character. I will buy the weird food for sure. I'll buy the SMG, but not these two weapons. I think we can do better. And we do lose additional damage if I buy something like Propeller Hat, but I think the luck is still worth it. We'll buy the SMG and roll again. Uh, is it worth buying Rocket Launcher? Actually, I'm going to buy the Ghost Scepter. If we get even one HP off the Ghost Scepter, that's worth a lot. And because of that, I maybe don't want something to steal kills from the Ghost Scepter. That being said, we have a lot of um, enemies. I think I'm going to lock the Rocket Launcher, buy the Shotgun, throw in a reroll, and see if there's something else I want. Nothing else showed up. So I think four weapons should be sufficient. I might give up a little bit of clear time, but if we can kill 20 things with this Ghost Scepter and get an HP, that would be awesome. Any permanent buffs that you get off of ghost weapons on, on the arms dealer do stick even after the weapon gets deleted. Whoops, walked right into that. I'm going to need to pick up some lifesteal fairly soon. We can get away without it for a little while longer, but... Alright, nice. We got plus one HP there. So we did, in fact, get our, our 20 kills and get an HP from the Ghost Scepter. And you really need to work on getting HP when you're playing the Ranger, because you have max HP penalties, so you have to prioritize that very heavily. Um, we've got positive speed, so I'm going to take damage to get our percent damage back to positive here. I could also just take Harvesting, or I could reroll. We do have 20 luck already, maybe I can get a level 2 upgrade. I think the percent damage is too important, though. Um, I'm never going to build dodge on this character, probably, because there's a lot of stuff we want that has negative dodge, and we need to be able to... Uh, we're going to have lower HP, so the dodge itself is less valuable. Here, I'm going to take flat range damage, though. I really just want to get my damage up to the point where we're killing everything immediately. I think it's worth buying the medical gun just for the extra free reroll here, so I'll do that. We will take the baby, or the hedgehog. I'll also take the baby gecko and the lemonade, and I guess I'll take another free reroll with a medical gun. I'm going to lock this ghost scepter rather than buying it. The rocket launcher is going to steal all the kills anyways, so I actually do want to try to grab one more HP off a of ghost scepter, but this setup has too many weapons for that to be good. And then... I don't really want to decrease my speed or max HP in exchange for armor. I've passed on armor a lot, but currently I just want to get my damage set up. So you can see the like rocket launcher and stuff is just, just going to kill all these enemies, and there's no chance that Argo Scepter would have gotten 20 kills this wave, so we're going to try to set it up so it, it can get 20 kills next wave. Also, if we start by purchasing a Ghost Scepter and then re-rolling, we're more likely to see more Ghost Scepters next round, and we can maybe try to like level one up or get a couple points in HP from them. 
this uh, character combo has very strong synergy, but not in the way you'd think, really. It's just that Ranger stops melee weapons from showing up, so we don't have... We remove a lot of the randomness from playing Arms Dealer. Take this HP. It's only 4 HP, but we need to get that boosted. Take the Ghost Scepter. Um, do I want the Crossbow? I think not. I think we can do better. I will buy this armor now. Roll again. Uh, I'm going to buy the Butterfly here. Definitely not Rip and Tear, because we, we don't want to boost our melee damage at all. I do need to pick up some actual weapons, though. So I'll buy a laser gun, because if we try to go into this next wave with no weapons, that will be a problem. I think I'm going to pass on the acid, because I have to roll at least a little bit to get more weapons. Slingshot, sure. This is a very bad weapon setup. If I buy the lemonade, I will I have enough to buy a weapon after another reroll? I think I will. Yeah, because the, the slingshot costs six. So I should be able to reroll here and buy... Oh, we, we, we rolled a level two weapon. Um, I'm going to sell the laser gun for one dollar and pick up the, the SMG just to make sure that we have slightly better clear speed this wave. I don't want to put myself in too much of a hole. Laser gun was not contributing a lot to our clear speed, so... The SMG will be much more helpful. One thing to do on... Oh, I actually passed on a baby elephant. One thing to do on arm stealers to look out for non-weapon sources of damage, because that makes you much more consistent. Um, so I, I should have bought that baby elephant earlier. I kind of skipped it without thinking about it. And that way, even if you get a relatively bad chop, like we just got, you can still clear the enemies reasonably well. Oh, can we kill that? Nah, there's no way we kill that loot alien. Gonna recycle this. We're never using HP regen. I will take armor, even though this decreases our percent damage additionally. It's still good. And then we have enough harvesting. I'm just gonna take damage here. Getting that to positive is really important. Take the Vigilante Ring and the Gentle Alien and the Shredder. I'm not going to buy the Lost Duck. I'll just roll because I need to buy weapons. And I'll throw in a reroll here. Yes, I'll buy the Laser Gun. That will help with Wave Clear. Buy the Coffee. Do I want the Scar? I think I do. It's, it's late to buy a Scar. Normally I wouldn't buy it this late. But because we have so many bonuses to damage um, just from the classes we are every level we get is more valuable and also we really need to level up to get that HP I think our damage is not good enough to quickly clear the the egg aliens so I'm gonna probably try to break the eggs before they hatch mostly Yeah, you can see it's taking us a long time to, to kill those guys. Uh, I do want that loot alien. I don't know if we're going to have the damage to get it. Come on. Yeah, it, it keeps hiding in the middle of uh, groups of enemies, too. Okay, nice. It finally put itself out in the open, so I was able to chase it down. Wheelbarrow, yes, for sure. It's still early enough to make that good. Three flat range damage, that's perfect. Um, and then, yeah, I'll take 12% damage as well. Or do I want 10% attack speed? This is closer than you might think, but I guess I'll, I'll take the level three upgrade. Especially because I'm buying the coffee now. Revolver and Shredder, yes. I want to buy Lifesteal, so I'm not going to buy the banner. Um... Butterfly, yes. Buy these. The taser is just not worth picking up here. We don't have any elemental damage anyways. Plus 8 ranged damage, but we cap our max HP at 30. I don't think we can afford to do that. Uh, I'll buy the slingshot and the pumpkin. One more reroll. Fill out our weapons. I'm going to lock the revolver and buy the shredder here. Lock the coupon as well. 
that guarantees we have at least one pretty good weapon going into Wave 9. Which is important, especially because we just bought that Scar. Wave 9 is where we're going to like get most of our XP and farm from. The best thing we could find is something like Baby with a Beard. <laughs> this is a funny, funny class combo for sure. We're basically playing Arms Dealer with like a few of the downsides. Obviously we still have random weapons, but not having to buy multiple damage types. <laughs> Getting to just focus on um, ranged weapons, getting even more damage every time we actually do buy damage. It's pretty nice. Also have gotten fairly lucky on seeing loot aliens. Gonna recycle this, recycle this, and sure, we'll take this. Um, my speed is fairly bad, so I think I will just take the 6% speed. It's early, and our harvesting's already really good, so Crown is going to be quite worth buying. This will definitely pay for itself. Take this. I'll take this for just the free reroll. It does mean we're more likely to roll more medical guns, which is kind of bad, but I'll just pass on these ones. Um, yeah, I think we can afford bait. We're going to have a decent weapon set up, so I will take that, buy these, roll, and by the double barrel shotgun, I guess. I'm going to pass on the tardigrade. Even though we have low HP, I, st I still would prefer to just increase our max HP rather than buy stuff like tardigrade. Buy this mutation as well for flat ranged damage. Gonna hold on these. I don't think we're going to buy snail or garden here. Um... Both of these are items I mostly like, but I think for this character, we really just need to focus on damage. When we get to an elite, we need to be able to just kill it in, like, seconds. Even with a relatively bad weapon setup. I did buy Sharp Bullet, so maybe I should be avoiding buying shotguns, actually. Because um, Sharp Bullet really nerfs shotguns, since so much of their damage comes from the cleave. Lots of enemies showing up, but we are getting lots and lots of kills. Yeah, we're going to make like seven or 800 this wave. It's going to be awesome. don't think we can get this guy. Oh, nice. Right at the end. Okay, not quite 700, but I did get the item there. Let's recycle this. So yeah, when we count that, we got 700. Uh, I do want percent damage, but I'm going to take max HP here. We really need to get that to like 50. And then I'll take flat damage here. Another bag, another bait. Sure. Am I willing to lose three attack speed for 1.3 HP. Or no, sorry, 1.5 HP. Probably not. I think we can do better than that. Let's buy the rocket launcher and the laser gun. Um, scared Sausage is often good on Arm Sealer, but I really don't want to buy elemental damage here. Ooh, a minigun. Uh, you can sometimes carry the minigun over into a a wave where you like really need it, but here I'm just gonna buy it because it's it's not till wave 12 that we would uh, sort of be saving it for, so better just to get the faster wave clear now. Buy the dangerous bunny roll. Uh, I'm also gonna buy the dynamite. That will help often enough because we're gonna be buying lots of explosive weapons when we see them. I am going to buy the ghost scepter. No, I'm gonna lock the ghost scepter. See if we can get an HP out of it next wave. I mean, this is a, a solid weapon setup. The problem is I have like 400 in the bank and I want to buy some stuff, but I also want to lock these two weapons for next wave because they're really good. Um, and we've already got like a, a level four minigun, so we're going to have no problems with wave clear this wave. I think what we're going to do, and actually one thing that I maybe should have done this wave is buy that piggy bank. 
um, because the rerolls were going to get so expensive, there was a decent chance I would sit on a bunch of money. So actually it was probably a mistake not to buy the piggy bank here. Scope, still not very impressive to me. Um, even on arm stealer, our flat damage isn't the, the issue, our attack speed is. So I'm going to buy this bat. I decided to roll past all of those weapons I talked about locking just so we can try to spend out some of our money here, basically. Metal, yes please. Roll again. Sad tomato, no thanks. I will lock this revolver by the sunglasses. So yeah, because we we often are going to want to sit on money um, on this character, I think it, it would have been a good idea to buy the... Uh... Um, the piggy bank that I passed on. Normally an item I just ignore because it takes so long to pay for itself, but on this character where we often are like re-rolling so heavily that the re-rolls become expensive and then we we want to sit on a bank rather than spend like a hundred on a re-roll, um, piggy bank is more useful. Just taking a moment to, like, rest my voice while we were clearing that wave. Um, okay, let's go with uh, crit chance or luck. I think I'm going to re-roll this, actually. I do want crit chance, but I'd rather have attack speed or something like that. And I guess I'll just keep taking flat damage when it shows up, though. Um, 20 luck. I, I'm i still going to take 3 lifesteal over the 20 luck, actually. We really want to get this to, like, 15%. Take the wheat, that's good. Revolver, yes. Going to pass on wisdom because we want the early burst damage to kill elite, so we don't want to reduce our starting damage. Uh, revolver, yes. Double barrel, we talked about why we're not going to pick this up. Um, little frog, I don't think is going to be worth it. It will take sort of eight turns to pay for itself, eight waves to pay for itself. So I just don't think it's worth buying here. But I will buy spicy sauce just because any HP is important. Even though this is just not like a, an efficient use of money usually. We just need the HP really bad. And then here we can buy all of this and that's awesome. Then we also get a free reroll. We get community support. We get an SMG. Do I want to spend 10%... 135 on 10% attack speed? Excuse me. Our attack speed is pretty bad although we are buying community support. I think I will not lock the improved tools. I, I might have if we didn't have the community support locked, though. As we go through wave 11, I'm really not seeing too many holes in the build other than just defensive ones. Like we're up to 57 HP also, which is nice because we got so much HP last shop. Um, so while that's not like incredible HP, for a ranger at this point in the game, it's pretty good. And obviously our damage is very high even with a random weapon selection just because we've got ranger and arm stealer damage boosts. Gonna recycle this, of course, and let's reroll this. I think we can do better. Um, I'll take the percent damage. Percent damage is something we need, and I do want to start buying that pretty soon. We'll take community support, laser gun, submachine gun, reroll. All right, a nuke launcher going into a horde wave. This is a perfect find. Literally couldn't be better. <laughs> I do want to increase my armor a little bit as well, but I'm gonna try to buy out as much as possible going into this horde wave. Going down to 7% lifesteal is a little risky, but I do actually want the luck, so I'll do that. 
Second nuke launcher? Yeah, I think I will buy the second nuke launcher. Lock the SMG, lock the whetstone. And this should make this horde wave very smooth for us. You could also maybe have considered trying to carry the nuke launcher by locking it up to wave 14. Um, but I'm going to have all of wave 13 to look for a really good weapon to lock for our next horde wave, so I'm not just not too worried about that. Two nuke launchers for this horde wave could not have been a better find, obviously. <laughs> We're just smashing everything. Uh, as always, I do want to say thank you once again to everyone who's been watching and commenting and stuff. I really appreciate it. Sorry I've been a little behind on comments. You know, I've just been been sick. It'll get better soon. Um, but I really appreciate everyone leaving comments. And of course, if you are enjoying the video, do take it the time to leave a comment and hit like, because it helps with the algorithm. Uh, let me buy this lifesteal, buy the SMG. Spider gives us 12% damage and is going to give me quite a bit of extra attack speed most waves because we're going to end up with a sort of random assortment of weapons. So I think Spider is actually going to be pretty good here. I'm going to pass on the Tardigrade. We're looking for a good weapon to lock for next wave if we can. I will take this flat range damage here and here. So yeah, I'm going to lock this double barrel shotgun going into the next wave. Um... Because that, that will sort of guarantee that we have a weapon that's going to be good at clearing large groups of enemies. And then this wave is going to be a little weaker for us. Like, this laser gun setup isn't amazing, but it's fine. I'll take the crit chance. It, it decreases our damage quite a bit, but or our percent damage quite a bit. But crit chance is a really good way to increase our damage output right now. Alloy is 3 range damage and 5 crit chance, and we're still not building dodge. I do want to get some armor. Having zero armor at this point is pretty rough. Also, a little move speed would go amiss. But now that I have over 10% lifesteal, I'm feeling a little better about our healing setup as well. Plus, we have decent consumable healing. The other thing that I'm uh, I'm behind on in terms of the channel is I owe everyone a a channel update video, which I've done all the like stats and stuff for, but um, haven't had a chance to record it yet. So it's going to be a little bit late, but that is coming soon. I know many of you have been waiting since the last one. And uh, there's a lot of interesting stats and a lot, a lot of growth over the last three months. It's been kind of unreal. So I'm excited to get that one out and show it to everyone. Um, yeah, I'll take 15 luck here and, ooh, attack speed. This is what we need more than anything else. So very happy to see that. Double barrel, yes. Alloy, yes. I will take the propeller hat as well. going to reroll. We don't need the turret. Um... Triangle of Power is kind of interesting for this character. We don't really intend to take damage, but I think that we're going to avoid it because even though, you know, it gives us more damage, we get 33% more of this, so it's going to be worth uh, 26 damage. Um, yeah, so, so it's going to be worth 26 damage. It also costs us more damage every time we take a hit. So it'll balance out, and if you take a bunch of hits, this can really put the hurt on you with the arm stealer. Let's take the beanie, and I will take these weapons. I'm not thrilled by them, but, you know, we might just keep rolling bad weapons, and we need to get something going. I'll take the tentacle and the, the pumpkin, and roll again, and... Yikes, we are really having trouble rolling good weapons. I'm going to roll and... Okay, good, 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 good. We got a rocket launcher. Um, do I get mega greedy and buy a peacock here? 
going into a horde wave? I think not, only because it's wave 14. If this was wave 15, I might consider buying the Peacock, because our damage is so good. Um, but because it's wave 14, we're going to take uh, shots from enemy summons, so I need to be really careful about that. Very happy to buy this rocket launcher as well, so now we've got a very good weapon setup going into the horde wave. And yeah, here I'm going to pause on 157, so again, that piggy bank that I passed up on earlier would have been quite good. So I'm interested to see whether I take hits as the summons start to stack up. If, if we take no hits this wave, then I should have bought the peacock. But already it's starting to get a little dangerous, so even if we end up not taking any hits, I'm, I'm like, you know, my dodging is under a little bit of pressure. Peacock is such a risky item in these later stages of the game. And we've already got bonus XP, so it's not as, uh, as impactful as it would be otherwise. I'm not regretting playing it safe, because we certainly didn't need it. Although, we, d we would have benefited from it, given that I took zero damage that wave. Uh, I'll take Incendiary Turret. This can help with wave clear, even with bad engineering. And yeah, we're never building dodge, so I'll buy the acid here. 16% damage, sure. Tentacle again, good crit chance increase, and good for healing. I will buy the beanie as well. Our move speed is now okay. Let me reroll and see if we can get some higher level weapons. Nothing good here. The spicy sauce is starting to, to be interesting, but I, I have to reroll because we are finding no weapons that we want. I'm going to buy a shredder, not because it's going to be a great weapon, but just because it gets a gun and an explosive weapon in our inventory, making it less likely we roll wands and other crap like that. Power generator is still good. We've got positive speed, and yeah, I'll take the bait as well. Okay, I'm going to buy this just to have a weapon in my inventory. Not going to buy the sunglasses, even though crit chance is good for us, because negative armor is really dangerous. Okay, finally, we got we got some weapons. Feeling a little better now. I'm going to lock this rather than buy it. Blood donation will still have time to pay for itself, and we've got decent lifesteal. I think we can afford the blood donation. And uh, do I want the regeneration potion, I think not, because we have no regeneration. I'll buy the shotgun just so we have six weapons. So you can see with, with our lifesteal and the tentacles, two tentacles, we can keep up with the blood donation damage very easily. Also, of course, glad I didn't buy that triangle of power earlier, because that would have made this buy not work. Uh, we don't need more harvesting, though. I'm going to roll, and yeah, I'm going to take the three armor, three range damage we would like, but having zero armor is really dangerous, so I just want to get some of that. Buy this, buy this. Our piercing damage is actually really good. Is it, like, up to... Yeah, our piercing damage is, is positive. That's funny. So yeah, minus 17% damage on, on uh, pierces. I guess I'll take the crossbow now. We actually have some crit chance, and then I'll take the medical gun just for the reroll. Yes, more HP. Roll this again. Move speed is really good. I need to buy more weapons. I don't know if a level 1 crossbow is exactly the way we want to go, though. Recycling Machine has a fun interaction with Arms Dealer, because I can buy this and then I can sometimes sell weapons for more than they cost. So let's say I buy this shotgun, we can, 
if we have enough uh, coupons, we can sometimes sell things for more than they cost. Um, I think I will buy the Obliterator rather than like lock it or try to carry it over to the next wave or something. Especially because if I can lock an, uh, another good weapon, that will be important. At this point, we don't want mutation because we have the power generator. Roll again and more speed, yes please. More armor, yep. One more roll to see if I can get another good weapon. Nothing here that I want, that's fine. I'll lock the silver bullet and buy the move speed. It's okay to go in with four, with five weapons to like these waves because two of our weapons are good at least. Obviously six weapons would be better, but... Arms dealer that never has to buy the wrong kind of weapon is really just a, a really broken concept, which is why you spend so much effort on manipulating your shop when you play arms dealer. So this ranger arms dealer combo is busted. It is funny how, like, can't equip melee weapons. That sounds like a, a downside, um, but ends up being a significant advantage for that that kind of character, because it makes your shop better. As with any sort of deck building game, reducing the pool that you are picking from is inherently a, a good thing. Let me take um, range. Do I want this? Nah, I'll just recycle that. 43 is going to be more important. We'll take range damage here. At this point, we're kind of gilding the lily. We've got plenty of damage, but it's still nice to get that. Sure, I'll take speed. That's also 15% damage. We have plus 207% damage. Ooh, a sniper gun. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to buy this. I could like lock it good to try to save it for the boss wave or the elite wave, but I think I'd rather just have the wave clear right now. I will spend out on these to just get more HP. Still going to pass on the missile because attack speed is our, our worst stat in terms of damage. I am going to lock the obliterator because it's so good against elites, and so we're going to hold that for next wave. And then one more roll, take the rocket launcher. Perfect. So this gives us decent wave clear. I guess I can do one more yeah, this is great. This will give us decent wave clear this wave, and we also lock a weapon that's very good against bosses for, for next wave. Always on Arms Dealer, you want to be making sure that you are planning for the next wave as well as this one. So you should think about, like, how do I want to structure my, my shop in order to complete the next wave, and is there something that's better to buy next time than it would be to buy it this time? Unlike other characters, if you buy something now, you won't have it later. Yeah, you can see, though, that we are in some danger, like I took 19 when I actually got hit, because my armor's very weak, we have no dodge, so although we have tons of damage on this build, this is not a build that's just completely invulnerable or um, like a free win at this point. We're very strong. But especially because of my very fast move speed making it slightly harder to dodge, we could still be in some danger with only four armor. Recycle that and then I'm gonna roll here. We can definitely do better than these level one upgrades. I'll take some lifesteal actually, that'll just make it a little easier to sustain. Buy this, buy this. Laser gun, also very good against elites, so even the level 1 laser gun I'm going to buy. Hunting trophy, I don't think will pay for itself, but it is also just a fun item, so I'm going to buy it. More crit chance, yes. Revolver, laser gun, revolver. These are good because they're very high DPS weapons, so they will just help us kill the elite super fast. And then, yeah, we can even level up our revolver. I'm going to buy Ugly Tooth, because this helps against the elites and bosses. Uh, roll again. Buy Cyclops Worm, for sure. Level up our laser gun. Roll again. And nothing here that I need, so I'm going to lock the shotgun to make sure we have a good weapon going into the next wave. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't need to put too much thought into how we were going to kill that elite, since every one of our attacks does damage in the hundreds or thousands. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. This combo is quite broken, and maybe I should have turned up the difficulty. I wasn't sure how this would play out. Because Arm Sealer's such a weird character. But it turns out Arm Sealer's pretty carefully balanced, and if you start getting... You know, if you don't have to roll as much, or if you get additional damage boosts on top of the ones it already gives you. And of course, like, the damage boost from Ranger and the damage boost from Arm Sealer work really well together. They, they sort of multiply together. So, this character combination has a ton of synergy. Uh, yeah, we'll take Sift's Relic. It's just a fun item to have. Recycle this, and I think the thing that will actually help the most here is just HP. Uh, obviously, we do infinite damage, so I'm not worried about that. I am just worried about maybe randomly dying. So I'm going to try to beef up my armor and HP before we go into the next waves, just in case I walk into 200 enemies and die. I'm going to lock the minigun going it, uh, to save it for the boss wave. It's okay that we will basically give up a shop slot while we roll here, but I think it's going to be really nice to have... Uh, just a guaranteed excellent weapon going into the boss wave. Sure, we've actually got decent dodge now because I bought a bunch of blindfolds and stuff. Giant's Belt, we certainly don't need because our actual damage is just so insane. And then, yeah, I think that's fine. We've got the minigun locked. I am going in with only five weapons, but there are five weapons that do so much damage it doesn't matter. And because two of them are shotguns, they help with the AoE wave clear as well. It's really fun just watching these just, like, pop, because we've got so much damage. I don't think our hunting trophy has paid for itself, but I will check. I guess we can see. We also have 400 harvesting because of the crown and stuff. Uh, I'm going to take the damage here and then attack speed over armor and dodge, actually, because that will help apply lifesteal faster as well. So it's also sort of a defensive stat for us. Let's take a look at our hunting trophy. Oh yeah, it actually has paid for itself. Just barely, but it has. Minigun, yes. Metal plate. I'll buy these two. We might sell them for weapons that do more. Um, speed is damage. Crit chance. We've got good armor, actually, so the, the crit chance is valuable. Can I get a weapon that does something, though? <laughs> I guess I'll take these crossbows. This is not an inspiring last chop, I have to say, so far. We are getting close to 100% crit chance, which is kind of fun. Alright. Buy these wings. Sorry about that. And then um, more damage, and roll again, and, oh, okay, can we sell, what can we sell, this level 1 laser gun for the level 4 minigun? Yes, please. That's, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. I also wouldn't mind the rocket launcher, but I think the, the crossbows and shotguns are going to be fine. And let's go to the next wave. Again, we're going in with only 5 weapons, but... I think we can probably kill the bosses quickly enough, not to have to worry about only having five weapons. All right, well, that may have been the fastest boss kill I've ever gotten. Um, obviously, this is a modded run, but this is an insane character combination. It was super fun to play, also makes you feel like really good about playing Arms Dealer. Uh, 
just because it, it makes the choices really easy. You just buy ranged damage and buy guns and win very easily. All right, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me just take a quick look at any economic items, the hunting trophy paid for itself, the power generator was giving us 62% damage, which was great. Everything else, tentacles were worth a lot of healing. Mostly, obviously, this build was just being an arms dealer with, combined with ranger. We also did find five broken mouths. That's pretty lucky, and three gentle aliens, found the crown, actually a really good economic setup. The early sharp bullet was also really good for this build, and, and six beanies, um, but overall I think this character combination is just busted. Alright my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, and as always if you have, do please feel free to like the video and leave a comment, and of course you can subscribe to my channel for more modded Brotato, vanilla Brotato, and other strategy games. Cheers, my friends. I'll catch you next time.